How have you found this season in general then? It's been up and down, especially since since Christmas though. It's been an upward trajectory. How have you found it? Yeah, it has been, yeah. Um, obviously from a team perspective, it's been great the last couple of couple of months and, and we've been playing very well and it's great to get back up the league and be where we should be. Um, and now going into Sunday obviously with a chance to finish off seventh top of the top of the, the second half group is a is a great achievement and something we really want to do. So I in that way it's been it's been it's been brilliant. You say it's a great achievement. Do you think it's almost been underplayed how impressive the rise has been when when the manager came in at the foot of the table? Could easily finish top of the bottom half, and just because it happened so early, people say, "Oh, look, Motherwell are already safe." Do you think it's been underplayed a bit? Yeah, well, I think whenever I whenever I first came in, and possibly a couple of weeks after, it was uh, there was a lot of talk of Motherwell are down, this and that, like, and um, I think that just shows how 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 well how well we've done over the last the last couple of months, and and to be in that position is is a very good achievement. Yeah, and we want to finish it now. We want to finish seventh. We want to. We want to finish top of that because we feel we should. I just want to ask, well, what's your contract situation going forward? I'm here another two years. So you said back where we should be, finishing seventh. Do you feel that there is more to come from this team? Because oh yeah, the definitely. Manager, you were just saying the, the form since he's come in is second in the league. Aye, no, definitely. It's it's perfect. It's, it's time to kick on, like, and I think that's why we want to finish so strong, um, so that we can build on that and, and head into next season and kick on again, uh, and keep this upward trajectory going. Yeah, and you feel that that is something you definitely can do next definitely. season, top six, but yeah. even European football? Definitely, yeah. I think like, if, if you just have to see the games to know that it doesn't matter who we're playing against, if every week we're, we're going out and we're, we're putting in a really really good performance, and even even the games we haven't come away with three points, I think we've been very unlucky in the past couple of weeks. So, uh, yeah, look, it's 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 an upward trajectory, and hopefully we can keep it going now throughout the pre-season and the next season. We can take, get some game time again recently, we'll see you Injury at a frustrating time. Aye, aye. The injury came at a, at a bad time for me personally. Um, that's football, like, and I couldn't couldn't get too down about it, or whatever. But no, it was it was great to get back in the last day, and obviously any time I've I've been called upon, um, it's been brilliant, and I felt like I done well in those times. So it was lovely to to get back on the pitch, um, starting on, on Wednesday night. Yeah, you, um, you feel that you suit the the way the manager wants to play quite well, and you've, you've come on it. Run back as well as, as I yeah I do yeah I feel like I get on very well with the manager um I really like working with him I think he's he's been brilliant since he came in um his ideas and, and the way the way he wants to play football is it's very good and it's right up my street so yeah I'm looking, really looking forward to really looking forward to now finishing off the season and really looking forward to pre season kicking on again. Is that kind of quite exciting to have a your first full season ahead of your pre season because everything was kind of Yeah, it was kinda of, uh, it was all different coming in coming in at Christmas and stuff like that there. So uh yeah, it's it's really nice. I think I think a full pre season's massive for any player. Uh kinda of getting the build up of games throughout pre season leading into leading into the season. Um so yeah, it's really exciting for me and something I'm really looking forward to. So you, a couple of the, your goals and for the reserves as well have been uh, reproducing that then the, the I've been trying anyway. Uh I got tried it last week in a game that so didn't work too well, but uh, no, it's been good luck. The reserve games have been brilliant for me to keep me ticking over after the injury, and um, and yeah, look, it's it's been good. And obviously, I've played the odd reserve game on a Tuesday and played then half hour, forty minutes on a on a Saturday, and I felt like I was sharp, and that's because of them games. So they were, they've been vital for me. Uh, obviously, not playing many minutes, getting minutes there. So yeah, it's been great, and something that I'll, I'll never. I'll never turn down or, or look badly upon, so I just want to play football. It's been an interesting season, isn't it? Shane Gibbon, you started it very young now. Ah, it has, definitely has, yeah. It's been it's a lot different to, to when I first came in, so um it's been an interesting season, yeah, but I think from what I hear it's always quite interesting <laughs> every season. So uh no it's been it's been very good and look we're just trying to end it now on, on as high as high as we can and, and get a win now on, on Sunday in front of the home fans. And send them away and come back then and kick on again. Given your progress with free kicks and the injury problems you have had this season, is next season a big season for you to kick on? You feel? I do, yeah. Um, I I feel like I can definitely definitely do very well here. Uh, from everything I've seen, I think it's as well being injured and stuff like that there and and being on the bench. You can obviously I've not been in the league, so I've seen the league now, um, which is a big a big thing for me as well. I've seen how it works. I've seen I've come on to games. I've I've started a couple of games. I've, I know that I can. I can do it here, so it's um, that's big for me as well now. So yeah, it's it's next year. 
I'm looking forward to and hopefully I can I can get all the starts and, and play well. Aye. I haven't done my value Europe this season, but hopefully you can do Aye, hopefully we can hopefully we can qualify next year, aye, keep him on it. What's the biggest difference you think coming into the Scottish League to the leagues you've played in before? Um I don't think I I d I'm not too sure about the difference in football. It's just it's obviously just coming over from it's just moving over and stuff at the start you, you have to settle, try and settle quickly. It's different coming into like any job or you're coming into a brand new Load, lot of new faces and, and 30 lads in a, in a changing room and, and staff and stuff like that there so I think it's just that initial couple of weeks where you where you settle in and stuff like that there is where it's uh, can be slightly tricky but here here's been brilliant the lads and staff are are brilliant and it's very similar to Ireland in that sense um the the people around the club are, are all down to earth and and it's, it's been easy for me so I look it's been it's been pretty seamless for me since I came over it's not been any issue at all, and, and I've really enjoyed it. Obviously, everyone's talking about Kevin Van Veen. Will he hit that 30 target? Uh, he's got it in him. I think he's definitely got it in him, yeah. He's some player, like, so uh, he's definitely got it in him. I think he's got the drive in him as well to do it. So hopefully, he can, and hopefully, we can get three points. Hopefully, he stays this summer. Hopefully, see how it goes.